I think basically all definitions of AGI are wrong and some are useful. I kind of like flavors of many different definitions. And so I never just pick one, um, but I'll share some of my thoughts. So um, the first thing is roughly what I mean by AGI is human level AI. So systems that kind of like a human are pretty good on a huge number of topics. That's kind of the general part. They're not just like alpha fold or alpha go. They can roughly do a huge number of different topics and be generally competent at all of them. But the more that you start to poke at that definition, the more you can ask questions like, okay, what does it mean to be human level at a huge number of topics? Are we talking about one human or are we talking about all of humanity? I think it's actually probably too high of a bar to say all of humanity. Because um, when we originally go back to the foundations of like Turing and we say, hey, could you make something that is as impressive as a human mind in a computer, which was the original idea, Well, the, the bar wasn't human civilization. The bar was like, could I make something that's as impressive as, say, Sophia or, or Jeff or uh, even Turing himself? And so I think a, a, a pretty good bar for AGI is an AI that seems roughly as equivalent as like a typical human. Now, you could say, what does typical mean? You know, what's a typical human? Who knows? I don't want to quibble too much. Um, but I think that's a pretty fair definition. I think if you had an AI system that was that was at that level, then, um, you know, I think it'd be fair to say that's AGI. Another definition I like, if you want to be really like, give me, a, give me something I could measure. I like the idea of saying, hey, AGI is something that can basically do the stuff that humans do, right? But then there's all sorts of weird things that humans do that, you know, you might not even want to train a system to do. And so like a more, maybe a more fair definition is like, AGI is when a system can do the majority of work that humans were paid to do in 2020. I picked 2020 because that's kind of like pre really impressive AI. So it's before we saw the transition of like before AI started to eliminate a lot of jobs. If you go back to like, what were people doing in 2020? What were they paid hourly for? And if, if you had a system that was automatically capable of doing 50% of that, I definitely think that you would have produced AGI. But you wouldn't be all the way to the level of doing all things that all humans do, which some people, that's, for some people, that's what they mean. But at the very end of the day, I don't really think the definition matters that much because all of these things are important, right? They're like different levels of advancements that are going to substantially affect society and come with safety risks and scientific challenges and whatever. And like one single monolithic definition is not really going to serve our needs, I think.